Here we have some very old vintage United States postage stamps. Okay, now look at these beautiful old ones. Now I have them in groups because I'm going to be selling them. So here they are in groups. We got the old three. And then this one here with the U.S. at the bottom. Of course, it's stamp paid on it. And this, believe it or not, is a very expensive stamp. Okay, and then we have the S, and it also has the U.S. for number six. All right, so that's the first group on this paper here. So since I'm selling it, if anybody's really interested, especially on this one here, you can always give me a good price. All right, now we go to this next one right here. And here we have the two. Then we have the three. Now look at that. With both sides, usually you find this in the green. And this one here we have in the purple. A little piece missing right there. But usually you have it in a lot of them. And there with the green. That may be a little different too. Not quite angels, are they? <laughs> All right. And then we have this four with the eagles in the two corners, upper corners. Then we have a six. Now this one's rather different. And we have the 10. Then we have this 8. Now I've had some more of these 8s, but they were never properly centered. So this is the first one that I have that is properly centered. In the 8, that's a black and white. Usually it's like it's not quite, didn't get printed correctly. So that's very different. Okay. Then our third set is right here. Okay, we have a three cents. And then, of course, any stamps here which ships are really, you know, can bring in some good value. I don't know why. Ships and planes, for some reason, they, they get the better values. <laughs> okay, so this one's a three, and it's in green. Okay, now this four. Now this one's one that I've seen that's been very valuable in the four because you got the ship there and another ship in the the outer background there. So this one here can bring in some good money and stuff. And let me see there's year dates on them. It says fourteen ninety two to eighteen ninety two. Getting old, I need magnifying glasses for everything. <laughs> oh, it's part of old age. I don't care for it. <laughs> Not really. Okay, and here we have a five with the globe and wings. A six with the globe and wings. And an eight with the globe and wings. Now what's really nice is right here, look at this ten. Oh, I love that tent. Look at the airplane. Now, usually you see them with the globe and the wing. Usually you see them with the, uh, like this tent here, you know, with part of the land and everything. But to see it with an airplane, now that is different. Okay, and then of course you have the 15. Now the 15 is airmail, and that one's airmail. These two are both airmail, the 10 and the 15. All right, so we have some very interesting ones now, don't we? I think we'll leave these guys as the interesting ones. Both the A, because it's centered, and I have plenty that are not centered in the 10 of the plane. Of course, that three at the very, the first group that I showed you and stuff with the U.S. at the bottom, that, of course, is the most valuable one probably in this whole group. 
All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more of whatever we find. Bye-bye now.